All right, we're back. Circling Back Podcast coming to you live from the Lodge. My name's Will DeFreeze. To my right, Dave Ruff. So this morning, I'm, as we all are, rocking my rollback mask. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. Uh, and it got me thinking that I had a buddy, I may have told this before, who used to sneeze by pulling his shirt out and sneezing down his chest. And uh, I wonder if that is COVID compliant. Because, you know, they tell you to do the... Haven't we talked about this before? Maybe. Yeah. It's disgusting. It's <laughs> it's disgusting, but it's not the it's not the most disgusting. Yeah, it it might what's, actually what's be the most disgusting. No cover on, at on all. On your hand. Oh, yeah, no well, yeah, cover. Yeah. Which I see people do in public on the reg. Well, not anymore, but I I've, I've seen people sneeze in a in a restaurant, not cover and like oh. the, like the light come to the window will catch it and you can just see like a spray. Gross. And it just it fills the whole room. It is absolutely disgusting. Those people deserve to get like publicly shaved. They they need to go to That's jail. That's a one way ticket to Hansville. I mean, like part even parts knows not not to do that shit. Yeah, I just can't on. imagine you're walking around adult. with phlegm on the inside of my shirt yeah, that's touching my chest. You're gonna have like the wet marks too. We have gotten it's gross. We've yeah. gotten hot enough in Austin that now if I'm at the dog park and I'm sweating, I will just use my shirt and just wipe my face off with the bottom of my shirt. I just yeah. don't. I don't care anymore. Oh yeah. I, I never. I never did that prior to living in Texas, and now I'm like, all right. That's a Texas vibe, dude. Yeah. It's gross. It, it's uh, it's sweaty down here. Can I t- can I say something else about sweat that dude, let's that just no talk one's about, asking for? Let's just talk about sweat today. I got this new sweat. pair of shorts that I've been working out in, and they're gray, and the sweat from my chest and stomach and everything drips down onto them, and it just looks like I piss my pants every time. Is there any way to combat this? Well, if you're working out, it's acceptable to have. Hey, aren't wet, you working out inside your home? Wet drawers. Yeah, but like, what if I want to go like do something dope out in the wild, and then I just look like I peed my pants? Like, I can't go run the trail and then wear these shorts out to brunch. You're not gonna run the trail, dude. To I'm go gonna to run the trail. You don't go to brunch. That's not an option in Texas to go like run the trail outside and then go like do like a normal thing. No, you can't. It's that's what's missing. I'm trying to take Stella on walks now. Unless I get up at the crack of dawn and take her on a walk, it's just. To, we do like a quarter of a mile now. You got to do so like eight o'clock. I, I'm trying it. It's still it's like 98 degrees as uh, the sun goes down. Yeah, but you know what happens when the sun goes down? We'll be grooving. I thought you could make a, a 98 degrees joke. No. Shout out Nick Lachey. But when the sun goes down, I wanted to. Down, we'll, we're gonna feel all right. I couldn't think of a 98 degrees song. I don't know. I do. Yeah. Cherish you. They were truly trash. No, they weren't, dude. Yeah, they were bad. No, 90 degrees went hard. Nick Lachey was tight. He was tight, but just as a collective, they were straight up booty. He locked down uh, Jessica. Well, for a little bit. In her prime. In yeah. her prime. Yeah, no, he, no, no, no. I think her prime is now when she's like a billionaire. She's not a billionaire. Stop calling her that. She's a trillionaire. Okay, what is she? Okay, no, she's, she, she has a lot of She's money. definitely worth like 450 We we Look did We did this already. She's worth 200 Oh, I bet it's more than that now. Those are outdated stats. I don't know if they are. Look Can it up, dog. I don't know if they are. Dave's official guess is four fifty. I'm saying three thirty. Why? Why are you? I just looked it up. Like, oh, that was an, that was the actual number. This is from two days ago on Yahoo. Oh. Two days ago on Yahoo. Okay, either way, she's worth uh, a fifth of a billion. She look is prime. More money than than we have. She's prime time. Yeah. Who isn't worth a fraction of a billion? We are worth a very small fraction of a billion. What would that fraction look like? Not not great. Yeah, about it. Like even if you reduce it down, like it's still just gonna be bad. We got time. I bet Dylan had a really hard time reducing his fractions back in the day. <laughs> Dude, I was a re- they called me the reducer. No, they, no one called you that. When Dylan was in high school doing algebra. They they had like the calculators that were the size of a room. It was like the mainframe. No, they had the ones with just the <laughs> sliders. <laughs> What's the Egyptian thing? They, dude, they taught us in school at one point. They busted out the old school calculators, like the wood things that had like the rungs and the, the slider things. It was like, what are we doing here? I'm never going to use this. No. I saw some girl retweet something the other day that was saying we need to teach sign language instead of cursive. And I was like, you know what? That's probably a good call. I'm in on that. Can you write in cursive? I bet your cursive is trash. I bet I can, but it would take me some time to like remember... Like how to connect each letter and all that. You don't. Have, there's no right way to do it. 
about yeah, cursive. Well, there's a right way to everybody, do it. But everyone figures everybody out Everybody has own their way. own flair on yeah, cursive. It, exactly. You, get, you put your own flair on it. I mean, my signature is technically cursive because all the letters connect. Do you know that's how, that, do you know like how to calling do calling card of I was cursive? I'm looking at right? your signature recently. It sucks. It, it's it's good. When, when I'm not doing it sloppy, if I take if I like focus, it's pretty tight. Some yeah. guys that went to high school with Dylan used to tell me that he would practice his signature mm-hmm. on his book covers. Like to prepare for being a professional athlete. I, I heard that he, I one hundred percent did that. I heard he would do it. On, <laughs> I heard he would do it on actual baseballs at practice, so he could get like the right cadence down on the baseball. He's like tossing them out to the parents. That's a made up story that it actually did happen. Well, oh, did who didn't? Just, who didn't? Yeah, practice their sig. I used to model mine after Walt Disney. I was practicing mine for signing contracts. Oh, okay. Yeah, just <laughs> early Dave, just doing like yeah, Tom Cruise M and A, M and A. How did we even get it? Murders here? and acquisitions. I don't know. We came in hot this morning. Yeah, no kidding. Woo! Wait, what were you saying? You might have, Walt Disney, what was his signature? You know, the Walt Disney logo. Oh, like the yeah. The yeah. really loopy. And my initials were WD, so it made it very easy for me to emulate that. Damn, when you turn 40, WD40 is going to be the hashtag. Oh, oh, yeah, dude. My 40th birthday party is going to be dope. What was your hashtag, Dylan, for your 40th? I'll let you know in four years, David. You jerk. This fucking guy. Man. Jeez, Pete. Gets one kill on the Twitch stream. <laughs> the age thing was brought up again during that Twitch yeah, stream. Yeah, they did. Okay, I'm going to say this. I love the chat. Let me be the first to say it, but they got to come up with something new. It's it's a blessing that I was not able to see the chat as I was playing. I don't know how I don't know how the streamer follows the chat and the game at the same time. I'm not I'm going to be the worst Twitch streamer. Does he just have a couple of screens going? Is that how he does it? I, I don't Gotta be. I feel like he's a PC guy. He also hacks on that keyboard. We're talking about Shido. Yeah, Shido. At Call Me Shido on Twitter. We did his Twitch stream last night. Will, I promise we'll move on from this quickly. Sorry. We got we to at least talk. Dylan was on the sticks. No, I don't. No, you guys can talk about the stream all you want. Yeah, we jump in the only time I get tired of you guys talking is when, like, dude, so I was dropping in here. And then I was, oh, we didn't get like, to dude, that. Shut up. Dude, like, you know you love Verdansk. We dropped into the boneyard last night. Dude, don't care. You, you don't know you love don't Verdansk. Care. Dylan did a tour in Verdansk. Yeah, dude. I've got people, I've got like friends bullying me for not playing Call of Duty at this point. Like, I can't even text J Bone without him being like, ah, don't talk to me unless you're doing Call of Duty. It's oh, like, my dude, God. fuck off, J Bone. Actually, like, no one, no one really streams FIFA. Yeah. I mean, well, if they I, do, it's like very, it's not lucrative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. J Bone told me that people don't stream, or no, in oh. order to stream FIFA, you have to talk the entire time. And I'm like, isn't that the point of twitching anyway? Like, I. I don't want to sit down and play a game that where I just like sit there and there's a camera on my face and I'm just like mouth breathing into it. We need to put Parks on the Twitch, but not not tell him that he's being twitched or whatever whatever the term is for it. Because then he'll wiretap your son. Don't tell him that he's twitched up. He'll lock up because it, he he doesn't do well under pressure. But if he if he doesn't think eyes are on like, him, he'll just talk his his little thing off. Uh. I was looking at his mom's gram last night. She posted a, a vid of him trying to hit a cannonball. You're going to have to work on that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> he, he doesn't hold it throughout yeah. the uh, – He missed an arm. Really bailed on it. He missed an arm. He bails at the at the last second there. He doesn't he, really get the whole – Just not committed to the ball. Yeah. Uh, dude, he's swimming, though. He's just doing, like his he's dad. He's swimming without a life jacket for the first but time. Based on his cannonball, it brings up a lot of questions about your can openers or your flying squirrels. Oh, stop. No. Yeah, the Stop. apple. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, right? Look, that's what they say. If he's not willing to hold a cannonball, I don't think his dad Dude, is willing to hold a flying squirrel. I'll I'm, tell you this: I'm head first through the water when I do my flying. No, squirrels. you're not. There's yeah, no I, way. Dude, I am. Absolutely no way. His dad definitely doesn't cover my six. I asked you specifically to watch my six, and you didn't. I tr- I did. I did. I watched your shit. You know when I knew I was out on playing <laughs> Call of Duty for good. It was last night when I tuned into the stream and I saw that Shido was directing somebody south. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm not going to be able to play. There's just no way I can actually do direction. Playing with teams is a, is a whole different ball game for me. Because I, I, the whole time I'm just like, where are my teammates and, and do I need to follow them? And then I just... Hope, this is, hope that's I strange that you have problems with that, Dylan, because you were an Eagle Scout, right? No, David. You made Eagle, you told me. I, ne- I was never a Boy Scout. I made fun of Boy Scouts. I was, I was a Boy a Scout. Scout. I was a wee blow. I would have made fun of you. Well, we were out there just fucking whittling and shit, so yeah, shooting well, bow and doesn't, arrows. That doesn't sound that tight. And you were probably at home whittling your wiener. You had a little fucking ribbon on your shirt. I did. I had emblems. Little, little, I got a badge. Oh, I made a fire. I ain't got a badge for it. Yeah, it's bad. I'll make a fire. Bitch, I'll, I'll, throw put, you in I'll it. put your fire out, bitch. No, you won't. You'll burn alive in Watch my fire. Me. 
God. <laughs> Jesus, that got dark. I'm just saying I'll build <laughs> yeah, a fire. <laughs> hey, oh, sorry, sir. Yeah, just chill out, man. Hey, man. It's just a game. We did have those little handkerchiefs. Mm-hmm. It had the little... <laughs> what is that? The Boy, the, the Scout Boy Scout part of the Boy Scout uniform. I oh, I, I never even sniffed the Boy Scouts. I was never getting close. That'd be to that. weird to sniff them. Yeah, I just <laughs> my parents just took one look at me and they're like, "Yeah, he's not Boy Scout material." <laughs> well, nobody was. That was a, there's like two dudes who probably like went to Eagle Scouts and probably became like uh, Army Rangers or something. Everybody else like was just up there farting around, shooting bow and arrows and stuff. I mean, being an Eagle Scout is objectively like it's badass. It's badass, but they have a bad rep because. Like, the only Eagle Scouts that I knew in my school, like, no offense to those dudes, but they definitely weren't the most rugged dudes out there. No, if I got soft. lost with them, I'd be like, oh, man, I'm lost with him? Like, this isn't going to go well. No, they're soft, dude. Like, what, is he going to whittle me something? I'm not afraid of an Eagle Scout. Park said he wants to do Cub Scout. Is that what he told you? You had to mention it to me. Well. His dad. He said, he said that he's afraid of what you might tell him. He's wondering, he's like, will you fund me for this? And I was like, God damn, okay. <laughs> you float me a stack? Yeah, babe? I float him a stack. I dropped him a stack so he could go to the buy station and get his Cub Scout gear. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I miss the little guy. Oh, have you guys seen the breaking news on the TL? Apparently Dylan got cast as the uh, new Bachelor. Yeah, Cat Pat is all over this already. I saw. Oh. He, uh, he looks significantly older than I do. Like, significantly. Dude, this is you in a mizzen and main That guy, that guy oh, looks 55 compared to me. Yeah. Is it, can, we, can we at least acknowledge that? Wait, is this serious? This Bennett is the new is guy? Thir- he's 37. 37. That is, that's not a 37-year-old. Oh, he's one of the guys. He's not the bachelor. Okay. No, no. He's Dude, just one of the dudes. I he's am, hot. I'm a year younger than that guy. Why are you worried about this? No, I'm not worried about it. I just think he looks much, much older than me. This dude looks like he aggressively pushes a suitcase with wheels through the airport. Like in a manner that's like reckless to people around him. He is. He has never been on a Southwest flight where he wasn't a one through five. Yeah, this dude has the best. The best seats. He's got. He's got high end luggage. Too. He's his chest hair is drenched in cologne. Yeah, he's not a bad looking dude at all. He's an absolute. Snack. No, he is good looking. We have unfortunately we have the same hairline, which is not a compliment to him. If the, if your hairline looks like that. Did your hairline looked like that at 37? Um, Bennett's 37. No, That's dude, what yours looks like. I'm 36. Yours is a little better than his. I mean, his. are you? Yours is better than his. I'm looking at both now. Oh, thank you, David. I appreciate that. Not to be a jerk, but this guy just looks like he's more successful than you. <laughs> I mean, that's no, fair. No, he looks... I, I totally agree. <laughs> I mean, he, this guy's in medical sales. For sure. He, right? he might be a real estate professional. I would buy a house from that dude. This guy's... But he does, like, like corporate... Like uh, commercial is the word I'm looking for, real estate. If he knew that his doppelganger, Dylan, was doing like podcasting, he would just think that you're wasting your life. Oh, yeah. He's like, what? No, like, who's this guy who looks like me? Just No. What? This right. dude, if he ever met us at a bar, he would like pull us aside be like, so you guys do podcasts? He's like, you know, I've been thinking about doing a, a real estate podcast, man. You know, I, I think I'd be pretty good on there. <laughs> and we'd be like, yeah, man. Like, like, so like how do y'all make game. money on it? Dude, that sounds great. Yeah. Do you guys make money? or You guys need to hobby? have me on to talk about the Austin market. It's crazy right now. Oh, man. What's this fucker's name? Bennett? Probably a nice guy. He put his piling fucker. on. I, I can't get away from the old the old man jokes, man. You look better than this guy. And this, this, this guy looks older I'm than 40. I'm not willing to say. We've only seen one photo of this guy. I'm not willing to say that Dylan looks better. Well, obviously he, he has better chest obviously hair Obviously, he than deals you. a great picture of himself. I mean, that's him looking tip top, you know? His chest hair game is so much stronger than yours. I have good chest hair. Take your shirt off. Why is it not popping out the top, then? Should I twist it around my head like a helicopter? Yeah. North Carolina. Here you go. Do it. Uh, no. <sighs> Shout out to Bennett, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm happy about uh, I'm happy about the recasting of her season. There are too many young dudes. We need more 37 year old dudes on Claire's season. I agree with that. If there's a fight, I want Dad Strength to be like in the mix. Yeah. Dad Dick. Mm-hmm. Our friend uh, Landry says that this guy wants to sell me a back to back World War Champ shirt so bad right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, dog. Don't do me like that. What, dude? It'll probably just end up at, like in a like a Goodwill somewhere, and then some dude in Costco is going to blow up on somebody wearing that same shirt. Damn. That was a tough look. Yeah. Dude, you can't just be running up on people in Costco and RG shirts. So every time I go to Costco since seeing that video – actually, it's been before that. Anytime I'm like at a gas station or picking up food – 
I'm just waiting for, to witness a, a scene like that where somebody doesn't want to wear a mask and gets yeah. into it. Like, cause it, it's going to happen to one of us, right? We're, one of us is going to walk in, walk in somewhere and have to pull our phones out and be like, oh, everywhere go. I go, everywhere I go, there's just like, I mean, cause it's, it's now required in Austin and people are just like walking around with it wrapped around their chin. And I'm like, dude, I feel, yeah. I feel like that's not how you're supposed to wear it, dog. The only store I'm going to for groceries is Whole Foods. There's one close to me and that's a very granola store. I feel like, like those type of people stay away from Whole Foods. They go to Costco or H E B. What's that sure. supposed to mean? That's very classist. No, I don't think so. I don't even know what your point was. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, I like, did. I like go to anti mask people aren't the type to go to Whole Foods. Right. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, but unless you get like a really affluent one, anti masker. I don't want people <laughs> with the flu going to my Whole Foods. <laughs> Because you can't, Agree. you can't buy like uh, you, can't, you can't get like chicken like frozen chicken nuggets at Whole Foods. You know you can you get, can, but it's made it's of like, like tofu. Yeah, exactly. Boom, there it is. Impossible chicken or whatever the <laughs> yeah. fuck. Get out of here with that. Jackfruit. Oh yeah, I forgot about jackfruit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's a nightmare. Nail my skincare jackfruit. company. Jackfruit tastes weird. I'm all the way out on jackfruit. I don't think I've ever had it, but I'm, I'm out. I feel like we we've tried it. I don't think so. Well, did you try it? I've tried it. Dude, I just do acerola. That's it. I've tried Jackson. It's not a meat alternative, I don't think. But it's no, a, that's just a super it's a, fruit. It's a super fruit, yeah. though. Hey, can we get some programming notes out of the way? Yeah. First and foremost, go follow Circling Back Pod on all social media, Twitter and Instagram. Leave a five-star review if you feel so inclined. If you don't feel inclined to do it, then don't do it. Like, yeah, don't just go leave like a two-star review because that would be mean. Yeah, you'd just be a jerk. But, hey, reviews help us. Go, go make that happen. Also... Every Tuesday and Friday, you can find us on Patreon, patreon.com slash circlingbackpodcast. Yesterday, we did Jerry Maguire in the stream room. Next week, we're doing social network. I don't even think we've told Dylan that we're doing social network yet. Oh, yeah. you decided this. Huh? Yeah, we yeah, decided. We did. You, were si- you were actually sitting right here, but you didn't have any uh, reaction to us doing social network, so okay. we just kind of like wrote it down. You really didn't. Is that on Netflix? <laughs> yes. Okay. It's on the flicks. You know what? That is a really, really good movie. Yep. Uh, and tonight, we're doing Happy Hour Live. We got... Uh, I think we're doing a little Fit Pick contest. If you have a Fit Pick wearing some circling back gear, Sunday Scares gear works as well. Any gear from Washed Media, uh, put it on the TL, respond to the tweet that we put up last night asking for these photos, and maybe you'll see yourself there, and maybe you'll get a uh, gift card to the Wash Media store, which you can find at washmedia.com slash shop. But before we get into it, let's talk about our friends over at Bird Dogs. You guys are, are, you guys are aware about these guys, right? Uh, I'm going to nationally televised commercial wearing bird dogs so what do you think oh last night your boy put on some of his and he got on the peloton and just grinded really yeah i was just sweating through those things they were so comfortable i was doing it though you know what i'm, I'm gonna start doing what now that our um neighborhood pool's open there we have two of them one is about a mile away mm-hmm. i'm gonna throw the bird dogs on i'm gonna run there get nice and sweaty i'm gonna go for a little dip are you going to run there like you do at the beach? Are you just going to r- sprint the entire way to yes. the place and then just sprint directly into the pool? We're talking cardio here, okay? I'm going to get a workout in and take a dip and then run back. It's kind of a trash move to put your sweaty body right into the pool. No, it's chlorine. I was it, waiting it for you to it say up. that, Dave. There's a shower right next to the pool. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to shower. I uh, probably won't, but you never know. Jeez, it, the be, option's there for this me. guy. You'll be looking good in your bird dogs, huh? They'll be dry by the time I get back home. I'll be putting my bird dogs on when I get home today because i got to get a pump in. Yeah, I was going to say, you need to. Yeah, I'm you feeling looking, soft. Mm-hmm. Looking very frail. I had half an avocado this morning. Oh, my gosh. Why just half? Because they're the Haas ones. Oh, yeah. They're simply are, huge. I don't buy those ones. They're too big. I, I did the shopping this week, and I am an idiot. And I, There's avocados on the list, and I just bought the <laughs> biggest ones I fucking saw. Dude, they're saw. huge. Yeah, I can't <laughs> do them. no sense. I can't do them like that. It's too much cotto. We're not doing cotto, I don't think. I think we just did. <sighs> and if you're not aware... You don't just have to wear shorts when it comes to bird dogs. They have pants, and they're some of the best pants I've ever worn. Oh, they're my golf pants. They're my happy hour pants. That's a line from my commercial. Wow. Which is funny because you rarely play golf and you never go to happy hour. That Well, it's dude, it's a pandemic right now. What do you want me to do, dog? Just I'll be, I'll be do only, something. I'll be the only one at the happy hour. You don't, you don't even party. I'm going to Michigan in two weeks, and I've already mentally packed my bird dogs to play golf in. It's, per- I can, it's perfect for Michigan golf. How jealous are you guys that I get to play golf in You're bird mentally, dogs' pants? Mentally packed. Uh, mentally pretty packing. jealous, Will. Thank you. Thanks for the invite. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I literally did invite you guys. You literally didn't. I think I said, like, we should all just go up there and take a week. It might be fun. Maybe I'll be there. 
whatever. These things are comfy. They're great. Go to birddogs.com, enter promo code STEAM, and they'll throw in a free bird dog's face mask. It's like a condom for your mouth. You'll get a free bird dog's face mask along with your free or with your pair of bird dogs. They're actually very quality masks. They make you feel like you're anti-soda just for you. That's birddogs.com, promo code STEAM, and boom, a free bird dog's face mask with your pair of bird dogs. You will not take these things off, I promise you. Are you guys prepared right now for what I would say might be one of my favorite circling back headlines of the year so far? Um, yeah, I'm seeing this for the first time, and yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. A man in Poland wielded a knife and fled to the woods, refusing to give up his beloved but illegal pet puma when officials from a zoo tried to retrieve the animal last week. Huh. He was not ready to give up his puma. No. Um, I get it. Pumas are tight. Well, I, I mean, in order to get a puma, like you probably have to go through some like pretty annoying steps. And so when, when the zoo's like, Hey, we're, we need this thing. It's like, nah, you just take out your knife and you just point it at him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just wore my pumas, um, pretty much everywhere though. Oh man. This guy had, was doing the social media thing too. What, what was the you? IG with the videos of them playing? Oh man. And they just took that man's puma like that. You know the, the difference between a puma and a cougar, David? Are you going to tell me? I, I'm not exactly what, sure. Geographical? Accurate, but I think it's there's no difference. Any regional difference I think in the it's name? it's the same damn cat, really. I can tell you this. They'll both fuck you up in the octagon. Oh, no, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. I'm not trying to take one on. No, you're not. It's a mountain lion, right? Same thing. It's all the same shit. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's just geographic. We get this wrong every time, but I think we're right on this one. This says the police conducted an extensive search for him that mobilized more than 200 officers before Mr. Stanek finally relented on Sunday, turning over Nubia to a zoo in Chorzow, a city in southwest Poland not far from where he lives. Dude, if I'm a UFC fighter from Poland, I am going to become the Polish Puma. Oh, that's tight. That dude's going to punch you in the face hard. Yeah. And scratch you. So at least they didn't kill the puma. You know, like a cat. Would right? Well, I don't think they were going to kill it. I think they, you know were, how they were you getting know how it so they is. could take take care of like it. Like, if that's here, the authorities are not going to trank it. They're going to off the damn thing. Is there is there a conclusion to the story? Did, 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 did they obtain the cat? They got the cat. Okay. The cat has been obtained, unfortunately. Uh. See who the cat's playing with today? No. Bison. Practice round, apparently. Yeah, I saw Big Cat playing with... Uh, JT's uh, getting tips from JT's dad the other day, and it just bummed me out. Really? Yes. He was playing a practice round with Tom- Justin Thomas and Justin Thomas's dad, and apparently his dad was helping him look at his swing and stuff. His dad's a PGA pro. I know, I know, but I just don't like the fact I that know. I feel like Justin Thomas, even if he doesn't say it, he walks around like, yeah, I'm, fr- I'm friends with Tiger Woods. It's like, shut up, hey, dude. T-Dub. <clears throat> hey, what's up, T-Dub? Hey, T-Dub. Oh, all right. Here, listen, y'all ready for this? No. Uh, this is from HowStuffWorks.com. Did you know that the cougar holds one of the Guinness World Records for having the most names, often called the cat of many names? It's referred to as the Puma, Panther, Mountain Cat, Mountain Lion, Mountain Screamer, Dave. That was you. <laughs> that was you and Breckenridge. Painter and Catamount, just to name a few. Yeah, Wait, did, well, there you well, go. Didn't you say in Breck that you wanted to go find some Mountain Screamers? <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall. What were the last that. two? Uh Catamount, I already closed it out. <laughs> okay. Um, a catamount was one of them. And a mountain lion, yeah, a mountain cat, and a catamount. I mountain believe, cat is I so much is worse than a mountain lion, like name wise. Like, well, the name that they gave it, the cat of many names, that's a trash nickname in itself. Cat of many names. Like that's not an intimidating nickname. But there also is a note in here that says it's based on where they are located. Is the different names. So if you see one in the mountains, like I'm going to call it a mountain lion. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? What? Why not a mountain screamer? Dude, I'm going to start calling them mountain screamers. Do they really even scream? Oh, painter was the other one. Pa- painter and catamount. Painter. A painter. I don't know, man. Uh, I'm trying to see if they're going to like allow this dude um, like visitation. Like, Can he go to the zoo and like, be like, hey, man, I'm going to get like 30 minutes of the puma. Well, Come on, man. <laughs> I'm confused why this guy... like. If, I don't know the gun laws in Poland. I don't know how strict they are. But I feel like if I'm going to go like with my cat into the woods and protect myself from 200 police officers, a knife's not going to do it. No. And You need some heavy artillery. 
I'm reading that only 2.5 civilian firearms are per 100 people in Poland. So it's the 166th most armed country in the world. Dude, they're just asking to get invaded. Oh, don't don't do a World War II joke like that, Dave. It w- I didn't even reference that. Mm, well, yeah, what? I'm just saying, that's isn't that the argument for everybody being armed here? They took some heat during. It really wasn't. W- I, I apologize. <sighs> I'm uh this day now. Do we? She's at a zoo. Like, uh, yeah. Okay. Nubia has found her- herself at a zoo. Okay. I mean. Uh, I don't know what's worse. I don't know the condition she was in with uh, Mr. Stanek, or Stonic, if you will. But hopefully they take care of her, and hopefully he gets to go see her and, you know, just go scratch her head every now and then. Hang out with his mountain, or uh, was it? Screamer. I wonder what he feeds her. Red Red meat. Probably impossible burgers. We learned that it costs a lot to feed a big cat from that uh, Tiger King fella. Yeah. How much does it cost? A lot. I don't remember. Like a lot, a lot? <laughs> Six a lot. figures. Enough to where he was buying old food from the grocery store. Old yeah. meat. Yeah. I just tried to bring up a video of Expired this happening. Walmart and it just, meat. my computer just completely, like, I did, saw not, that. You did not work. I tried. I'm tried. sorry. Are you looking at the New York Times article? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it, too. Yeah, well, I was trying to bring up the video. There's a video in there of him actually playing with this puma. And I was going to show it so we could get some, you know, perspective on this. Oh, thing. One time, Dylan sent me a working. video of him playing with his puma. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, dude, what the fuck? What would that entail? <laughs> oh no, I was like, oh, what, man? You mean to send this to me? That's your problem, dude. You're the one who did it. I mean, if the uh, if the authorities are coming to take Randy from you, Dave, are you oh, hiding in your backyard with a knife? I, well, uh, I'm not going to go in my back. There's really nowhere to hide. Why in would my they backyard? take Randy though? Like if he if he like mauls somebody? Oh yeah, good point. Oh no, a hundred like you got to get through me to get to him. That's a hundred percent. Oh yeah, like you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take me down. Still is my family. Shoot me with the tranquilizer. Yeah. You got a fucking dart in your yeah, neck. That was that old school. All right, <laughs> remember that? Let's just become a movie quote podcast. You're crazy, man. Remember, that's <laughs> dude, man, sick, dude. That yeah, that's just so good. Hey, that, a great, another great performance from Sean William Scott. Dude, that is a great role from Sean William Scott. <laughs> What? I bought some Nike um, short tights to wear under like gym shorts when I work out. Like compression shorts? Yeah. No one calls them short tights. I couldn't think of the name. And now I'm getting all I'm getting served at the top of this New York Times article is just <laughs> just dudes just it's just like straight up dong shots basically of like these white combat shorts. Don't I think I think these ads are like getting a little cocky with how like blatant they are about just eavesdropping. Yeah. It's getting very egregious at this point. The other day I said to Sally that we needed to re-up on some body wash. And I got in bed after saying that like five minutes later, and there was an ad for it on my Instagram. The Axe Effect. I was like, dude, what? Why? It's creepy, man. Five minutes. Yeah. Did I buy the body wash from the ad? Of course I did. It it actually made it kind of convenient for me, but I'm still going to complain about it. This happened to me over the weekend because Parks and I, we made, or we attempted to make tie-dye t-shirts. And before, well, Dallas and I were texting about it. How did you not document this? Yeah, we I, need, I, I took pics. Did you? What? I took pics. I have so many questions. Okay. You said you attempted. What Does t-shirt that, did you tie-dye? Uh, his mom brought us, um, because we were quarantined for seven days, right? Mm-hmm. So she brought us a box of blank white t-shirts and all the dye. Oh. And the instructions on how to do it. So you didn't and do a Wilmot shirt? They, they just didn't look awesome. Why didn't you do a Wilmot shirt? We need photos of the Imagine of Dylan just walking into the studio wearing a tie-dyed shirt. We'd be so caught off guard. Yeah. Yeah, we made we made four. Two for me and two for Parks. But um, his turned out better than mine. But none of them are uh, <laughs> very good. Anyway, the point I was making all right. is that we were texting about tie-dye. You and going then to Bonnaroo next year, I got bro? served ads for it like, all the next day. It was weird. Like tie dye T shirts. Like I don't. Were you like googling like how to tie dye? No. What? Okay. You just knew how to do it. I texted. T- no, there's. It came with an instruction. Oh, okay. Bo- little booklet thing. Gross, but. Yeah, it's it's not as easy as you might think. You're the last person I would ever imagine tie dyeing shit. Yeah. Well, I did it for Parks, man. Yeah, I'm trying to be a dad over here. See, are you gonna start playing like Grateful Dead albums for him too? <sighs> yeah. 
If he wants a summer job, we could have him washing dishes at Wilmot's. <laughs> I think he's he's five. I think there are laws against that. Yeah, he'd probably be offered a lot of drugs there too, so it's probably best if he stays away. Yeah, in that kitchen. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we smoke meat, but we doing it a little different way. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Not really sure what that would you entail. Smoke, you smoke yeah, that, no, I, you burn that kill. You rigged up your Traeger to just. <laughs> it doesn't burn wood pellets. <laughs> just. Burns Kush. Hey, do you want to come in for the guest chef night that we're doing next week and do your sausage wraps? I'll, I'll celeb shot it. <laughs> How'd your sausage wraps turn out last night, David? You know, I told you before, they were great. Well, actually, it was only one sausage wrap. We did buns before, but I wanted a second, and we ran out of buns, so I had to use that tortilla. Oh, I thought you were actually just doing it. No. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll tweet it. Maybe I'll tweet it out. Maybe I'll, or maybe I'll save it for the next uh, to air fryer giveaway on the live stream. I'll vote for it. I mean, I just I can't imagine a better meal. My distaste for sausage wraps has done more for the notoriety of sausage wraps than pretty much anybody in the world. It's shocking how many people weren't familiar with the uh, the art of wrapping a sausage in a tortilla. I just sent you all my uh, the the finished product of my attempt. Oh, dude, you killed it! That's not off. Well. Uh, one of them's not terrible. The one that the one the that huge looks, one. Yeah, that one was not supposed to look like that though. That's the thing. It, it just turned out like not awful. One no, of these looks like you skinned the Chick Fil A cow. None of <laughs> yeah. n- none of these actually like look like they'd fit Park. Like Parks is gonna have to put on a lot of weight in order to. For fit some in reason, these. the the two on the left, those are the Parks ones. For some reason, they look huge in this. I don't know why, but they they are those are Parks size. He's just wearing baggy ass shirts. He's wearing like the the Taz the it, Taz shirts that are real baggy. He's like probably a little big on him. He's a little fella. Anyway, we don't have to talk about this anymore. Is he just listening to String Cheese Incident and playing Call of Duty and shit right now? I don't even know the reference. Come on, dude. The thing about String Cheese Incident is that's an incident with uh, string cheese. What was the incident? What happened? Like someone slipped on it or choked on it? What happened? Not sure. Not sure. Don't look at me. I could see Dylan being the guy that eats string cheese, just like taking bites out of it instead of doing yeah. the strings. Just he's uh, like, dude, why would I waste my time? Be, like that it's a candy might bar. Be me, honestly. Dude, that's weird. Yeah, I, I I rarely eat string cheese. I think it's I, it's just there. I don't care about it. It's not great. What what kind of cheese is string cheese? It's, it's string. I don't think it is. It, it comes from uh, string cows. I don't I don't think string cows are a thing. That's so stupid. Oh, mozzarella. You play too much. Man, cheese whiz. Remember that stuff? Is it really mozzarella? Some mozzarella. Of Some of them are, yeah. Yeah. Cheese whiz went hard for a while. I would just put that on pretzels and call it a day. I loved it. I like to put gorgonzola on pretzels. Don't get me started on pretzels, man. You don't like pretzels? What a trash snack that is. No, it's Shut a up. great snack. Shut up. They're dry and tasteless. And a rolled gold? Get out of here, dog. You don't like pretzel crisps? I don't like anything pretzel, dog. You don't like peanut butter filled pretzels? Unless it's like a, a hot like a big ass hot pretzel with some some brown mustard or something. I'll I mean that's that more up. bread than like pretzels, you Exa- know. exactly. Shut up. All right, what's Johnny football doing? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm fucking this pretzel thing's got me flustered. I hate Dylan's take on this. I do not I do not stand this take. Um That's okay. It it appears that it appears that he's pivoted, so he's no longer doing the CFL thing. I think he Not, officially announced he's officially that football, out on football. football is in the rearview mirror. For and he's football. seamlessly transitioned to what appears to be uh, sick-ass golf trips with the lads. Johnny's sick-ass golf trip is his uh, new nickname. Yeah, man. Um, I guess he is becoming an amateur golf influencer. What does his squad look like? Well... He posted something. This may not have been a, may not have been a golf trip, but for the fourth, he was in West Hollywood with Chandler Parsons and some other dude. Solid. Chandler Parsons, who I don't think is ever going to play basketball again, but did get absolutely paid. That was my next question. Um. But yeah, he was. I mean, he's like he's doing the Instagram post tagging Taylor made, doing the hashtag twist face hashtag, hashtag she gone. This is just classic golf guy on the weekend stuff. Uh, and then last night he dropped something. He's at, I don't know where this course is. I think it might be Indiana. But Victoria National Golf Club. It's just him in a robe walking around barefoot uh, just ripping cigars. He he unwinds on his drives. He's got a good swing. He's got a good move on the ball. Oh, yeah. 
Looks like he slipped on that one drive. Yeah, right? Like, he, he piped it, though. Full vibe. Is he going to archive this when he wakes up today? He posted this nine hours ago, which means he's definitely still asleep because he didn't go to sleep right then. Oh, absolutely not. He, you know how I know he's he's still asleep? He posted some videos of that shit he used to do where he's like kind of talking and singing and rapping into the camera. Yeah, that's that's one that you wake up from and just regret it. Full vibe. So he's got he, his his bio just says cactus hack, cactus hack golf. What is that? Uh, I think it's a company that he's definitely got some type of investment in. It currently has 420 followers nice. on Instagram. Oh, I gotta say the logo oh. the worst. It's not the best. Um, it kind of looks like a it looks like a tech startup logo to me. Custom footwear, apparel, and accessories. Let me say this. Good for him. I'm happy for him. But I got to say, so he's posting from this Victoria National Golf Club, which appears to be in southern Indiana. And one of his posts says, I will tell you very shortly. Sorry, he's, he's singing in the camera again. One of his posts says something like, once in a lifetime trip. And I'm like, uh, it's Indiana. <laughs> oh, be careful, dude. Randy's right out there. Look, I be, like... Randy's dude. not going to be happy about this. Look, this course does look absolutely sick. But once in a lifetime experience, like, I feel like yeah. you're going to have a chance to go back to Indiana. Indiana's not on any bucket list. You're not in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> That's the days go by. Here comes, Indiana. here comes Indiana. They come for our throats now. And you may find yourself. I mean, I feel waiting bad. on a shotgun start. <laughs> That's good. You could have said, uh, hey, there's a couple ways. Shotgun shack. I feel like there could be, there's got to be shotgun shacks at like golf courses, right? We have to be careful with Indiana. I don't want to make Randy cry. God, hey, he's probably in there crying. He cries a lot. I know. When we tell him that he has to take his Chicago Bears poster off the wall in the Twitch room, he's not going to be happy about it. He's going to be in a. <laughs> Standing in a puddle, man. It's a great, it's it's a cool poster. It's just you know he's just gonna have to put it somewhere else. I'm, I'm he's gonna have to put it back in his dorm room. I'm getting a, I'm getting a, <laughs> I'm gonna get a Barry Sanders fat head and just replace it. Oh damn, that'd be tight, dude. I am pro fat head. As many fat heads as y'all want to get, let's go. I want to get a custom fat head of just me. Let's get let's get a custom fat head of Johnny Football uh, in a robe, uh, wrapping into a, an Instagram live story. <sighs> no, I, he gives me anxiety. Why? Because he's he's one drunk post away from just making a huge mistake. Dude, he's just going on golf trips now. That's all he does is go. He just in, in the middle of a pandemic, just going course to course, once in a lifetime experience to once in a lifetime experience there's with a lot, the lads. There's a lot of rich dudes that are just doing that. Like <laughs> rich dudes are just going on golf trips during it, this, and like we're just like sitting here like podcast. Uh, yeah, your boy Drew's buddies, dude. What do they even get me started? What? Do they just exist on a different like dimension? I don't know. I'm jealous. Every weekend, there there there's like twelve of them. And they're just like, oh yeah, we're in Scottsdale. Then it's like, yeah, we're in San Diego. Yeah, Del Mar. Like what? Are you not doing the? <laughs> I mean, I, you guys, you thing? guys are gonna be saying this about me in two weeks when I'm in mid Michigan just playing golf every day. You're gonna no, hate that's me. that's. It's not as egregious. You're not you're not doing a, a squad trip unless you are. Are you lad? Are you going with like twenty dudes and just not inviting Dylan and I? No, no, it's not. It's not a lot. Actually, yeah, it's my, I'm actually going up there for my bachelor party. But you guys, oh, you guys dude. didn't catch an invite. Sorry. Oh, that would be the worst. Sucks to suck. Yep. Us. How pissed are you guys going to be when I just have my bachelor party in Austin? I will be oh. so pissed if I have to play a hundred and two round of golf. Like oh, degree. if I, I did I, it in Austin, it would be during a winter month where it's like cold. Is borderline like too cold to go play outside? We can just go to Top Golf. I'm having my bachelor party at Top Golf near the domain. Dude, I'm, let's go. Just eat some apps. I'm get Trey be sick Kennedy. That day. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Dude, yeah, get let's get Trey Kennedy there. Be a good time. We can't afford Trey Kennedy at this point. Did you we, see where the dude perfect guys are? Speaking of uh, where are they? Instagram sensations, where are YouTube they? sensations. I don't know if I could say what they're doing, but let me just give you this. I think Jimmy Buffett. Oh. Because uh, that week is coming up. They might be doing a little filming for that. They're in Florida. Mm. Okay. That's okay. why they were on the PJ. They took a well, piece. I wasn't sure where they were going because then Chad posted a, a, a uh, 
TikTok, which Chad has just the sneakiest big TikTok what? following of all time. 106,000 last time I checked. And yeah, the, he was. it was a Phil doing the flop shot over Phil. And I was like, wait, are they, are they at our, uh, our spot in San Diego at the whatever? I don't even remember what it was called. The Callaway. Like, Callaway Center for Performing Arts. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. He must have been in Florida because, yeah, they're there for uh, to film. It could have been a TBT stuff. as well. Yesterday was Tuesday. I did see a lot of sharks. In one of their Instagram stories, a lot of sharks. Any minnows? No minnows. They need to do a hippo week. Hippo week. It's Hippos dangerous. are it's a dangerous animal. It's baby. the most dangerous. How do you play shark? How do you play sharks and minnows in the pool, dude? Uh, you have the shark with his back turned. And he's outside the pool, and right, the minnows try to get to the other side. Oh, you yeah. have to creep over. Yeah. yeah, yeah, creep dog. But if you if we you peek, it in, uh, if you take a peek. And no one's gone anywhere. You got to take a, st- a big step the opposite direction. So, so it's the run. same as categories, but you just—it's similar to categories. Categories just has oh, an extra layer to maybe, it. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of categories. I will say that uh, we, Sally's nieces, like I love them to death. They're they're great, but they always want to play Marco Polo with me. Dude, we played with them at your wedding. Dude, Remember? I hate playing Marco Polo. I just don't like playing. I don't like shutting my eyes and having everyone laugh at me that I can't find them. It's like, this, why is this? You fun? scrape your arm on the side. Yeah, Marco, like, oh. Marco Polo kind of. Yeah, stinks. I like hit my knee up against the side of the pool. It's like, dude, this isn't fun. Uh, Will ran right into the filter. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Will. Will. <laughs> okay. Got his hand stuck inside the filter because yeah. we told Don Marco Vito Polo. it was a sandwich. We're all getting out of the pool and just running around, and Will's falling into the pool. He's gonna get lured into the end. <laughs> all the fish were really out of the water. Fish out of water. That's what it is. Fish out of water. We're playing Marco Polo. We put a shark Dude, in the Dude, I was always pool. out of the water. People would cheat and like run around. Oh, I, I was a big time cheater. Fucking dickhead. I could see Bam Margera actually putting a shark in the pool when they're playing like a game <laughs> with people. Like that's something that they would actually do, and like it would a just turn black tip tip like Yeah, like not one that would like ruin your life and take your leg off, but definitely one that'll take a chunk out of your leg. <laughs> I'm Steve-O, and this is the shark in minnows. Yeah. With a real shark. Yeah. I'm Steve O. I love Steve O. <laughs> He's sober, man. Shout out to Steve O. Hey, shout out Steve O. I'm Steve O, and this is the box jellyfish on my wiener. I think my favorite Steve O moment was when he got the, the tattoo in the off road vehicle <laughs> while, they, while they were off roading. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of tight. Like, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't turn out great. No, it was really bad. <laughs> The best is like so sober Steve Stevo, and they get him. He still wants to do the stuff, but like he looks way more beaten down by it. They're like, "All right, you're gonna you're gonna sit here," and then like, what was the one that like actually hurt him where he had to walk across like a a, a, a balance beam, and they were swinging these like flaming <laughs> balls at him, and if he fell, there was like metal that had coals on them, and oh the metal God. heated up, and it actually gave him like awful burns because they didn't think it through. They had to. Like it was, Yikes. in retrospect, like it was just you. He knew it was not going to end well. Damn, he's been sober for twelve years now. Good for him. That's great. That's a long time. Major shouts. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. They need to bring Ray Keon back. He was my, he was like my least favorite. He 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 like had he just looked weird. He looked sketchy. He did. Should we talk about Quip real quick? Yep. Not sketchy at all, that Quip. The opposite. No, no. Big fan of Quip. As you know, some of our morning or evening routines have changed recently, and that's impacted our oral care. You know, we, we're getting all this stuff delivered to our doors. Why not toothbrushes, guys? Why not toothbrushes? Not just any toothbrush. A really dope toothbrush. Yes. It's got, it's got the sensitive sonic vibrations that let you know that you need to change quadrants of your mouth. 30-second pulses. It's huge. And when they deliver stuff to your door, you get everything. You get some toothpaste, some batteries for it. You just get a whole new set. Do you like the mint or the watermelon? See, I actually haven't tried the watermelon yet, but I'm in on this idea. It, I'm, a, I'm always a mint guy normally. I am too, and I was skeptical, but the watermelon, is it's, it's refreshing. Is, I need to go in there and figure out how to change my settings so I can get like a watermelon tube. Change yeah. bitch. I mean, I, I just literally said just said I wanted to. to. Like, no, I feel like you don't need to come at me like that. You're right, I'm sorry. As you guys know, good health starts with good habits, and Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials you need to brush and floss better. Dylan, floss, Dylan. I floss. Okay. The Wonder. Quip electric toothbrush, like I said, has timed sensitive sonic vibrations with 30-second pulses to guide a dentist-recommended two-minute routine. 
And there's even a sized down version for kids, a.k.a. the homie. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. I heard Dave taught him how to brush his teeth, though. So he, he actually does it right. <laughs> I was like, dude, you got to do circles. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get Quip brush head, toothpaste, fl and floss refills that are automatically delivered on a dentist-recommended schedule every three months for just $5 each. A friendly reminder when it's time for a refresh and to stay committed to your oral health. And guess what? Shipping's free. I love free shipping. It's Big the best. Time. Free shipping gets me all the time. It's the cherry on top. So if you go to getquip.com slash circling back right now, you get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash circling back. That's getquip.com slash circling back. Quip, the good habits company. You guys see what this bar in England did? Or I guess a pub. I, this is news to me. This is crazy. I saw this this morning and I was like, you know what? I'm kind of in on this. This sounds tight. Yeah. You know what? It, <laughs> don't take a whiz on it. English pub owner installs electric fence to keep customers at a safe distance. So like pins for everybody to stand in? I don't know. Man, I feel like if that's what you just just don't go to the bar. Yeah, it's if, it's just maybe just uh, pour electric. one up at home. I'm kind of bummed about this. <laughs> it, this. So this happened in Cornwall, and I have two friends that just went to Cornwall for a little vacay out of London. Where is Cornwall? And I'm pissed I didn't have them go do recon on this so they could see this in action. It's a very southern southwest part of England. Is that where Cornwallis was from? It's hard to say. You got to think so. What about Cornholio? I am, <laughs> I am Cornholio. <laughs> dude, there's nothing funnier for about a two-year stretch oh, than Cornholio. Dude, I, I watched me some Beavis and Butthead, man. He needed TP for his bunghole. He did, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what he needed. He's Cornholio, that's why. So this says businesses have had to embrace social distancing during the pandemic and perhaps none more so than the English pub, which installed an electric fence to keep thirsty customers at bay. Johnny McFadden, like, dude, be All more right. be more UK than From Johnny Cornwall. McFadden, who runs the Star Inn in St. Just Cornwall, told CNN that he installed the electric fence in front of the pub's bar for social distancing purposes. Quote, it's a very small pub. The first and last, oh, this is a tough word to say, rural pub in cornwall dude you crushed it I did, had it i known that really that good. word was in this story there's no way well, i would have brought so this the fence up. is outside the bar mm -hmm. not inside the bar mm -hmm. okay so like stand in line here wait to get in well this photo is confusing me the photo is not populating on my screen i think my my computer's about to just off itself yeah i think that wow yeah that seems like should we talk to it and like Maybe yeah. get some counseling for it. Dude. I kind of just want to let it because it's it's had a good run. Dude, get a new lappy. It's it's time. Oh man, my right leg just fell asleep like that. Sorry. Come do over here. I'll doing wake a stranger? No, I don't even know. Wake me up, please. Wake up my leg. He, he, the guy the guy who owns the bar said that uh, he wanted to put up some rope or chain to make the cust make sure the customers kept back from the staff at the bar, but he couldn't find suitable equipment. He said, he, "I thought this was going to keep them." the customers back so instead he opted for the fence to see what it does i don't i don't think like electrocuting your customers is the best way to get them in <laughs> are you mental yeah this is not this is not gonna end well have you ever I gotten like shocked a, by an electric fence oh uh, yeah. yeah it is not fun don't take a whiz on the electric fence remember that we had so we lived next door to like a, a farm that just had crops and stuff and they had an electric fence so that people wouldn't go in and steal the stuff and my parents left town. I think this was actually the same party where my, my buddies drank the giant bottle of champagne. But all everybody at the party just got drunk and then just went up and they started having contests of who could grab onto the electric fence the longest. Nope. And I was like, dude, this is this is not a good idea. But at the same time, I didn't stop anybody from doing that. It, it is not. It hurts, man. Dave, there was a, a Mythbusters episode about peeing on electric something, a fence or... Probably. Yeah. Um. And you you can't really get shocked that way, dude. Be careful with MythBusters. They, dude, they bust myths. No, did you hear? Have, you haven't heard about the the accusations against Adam Savage? Did he get me too? No, I mean, uh, kind of. Wait, one of them just passed away. Brain aneurysm. Really? For real? Yeah. Not. It was the guy who came on like two or three seasons in. Gross. Adam yeah, Savage. Scary. Adam's the guy. He's got like the, not great hairline, kind of scruffy beard. He's the guy that I recognize more. He got accused of sexual abuse by his sister from Ooh. way back, way back Ooh. when. He's he's adamantly denied it, but that's I was ugly. like, man. But why would your sister do you like that? That's if, a myth he'd definitely like to bust. I, I hope they bust it. 
Yeah, you guys know my story with the electric fence, right? From mm. when I was a kid. Oh, here we go. I was on a I was on a trip to an island with uh, some scientists, some leading scientists in the field of like archaeology and stuff, biology, and whatnot. And uh, our vehicle, we're taking a tour of the park. It broke down, <laughs> and like nobody knew what was going on. We just like what the what the fuck, and we were what happened like, next? I was climbing this this big big fence, electric fence. And as I'm climbing down, I was, like, scared to jump because it was very high and I was very really young. Somebody flipped the breaker and turned the power back on the oh, fence, no. and it shocked me. I flew off into the arms of this uh, hunky uh, scientist fella. Really? Wearing a hat. Yeah, he's a real alpha. I uh, ended up surviving, but the rest of the trip just – we had dinosaurs running after us. It was really fucking weird. <laughs> How have we not heard this before? It seems like something that you would have laid, it, laid out uh, a long time ago, man. I don't really like to talk about it. Dinosaurs involved? They've yep. been extinct for millions of years. Yeah, it was, a, it was pretty cutting-edge technology. Um, you might have seen it in the news. Like They've had some other issues. Like they've How did they obtain the DNA for the dinosaurs? Mosquitoes that were trapped in tree sap. No shit. Like billions of years old. Probably it's millions. It's amazing what they can do these days. It is, yeah. <laughs> dinosaurs we need parks in here for this conversation did you ever get to the bottom whether, whether or not uh so our friend ted in pittsburgh sent me a video from jurassic park and i thought it it, it solved it for us but it turns out there's no actual evidence of him climbing the left of the, they're all females at the park i should say she yeah are know? they all females I, I haven't seen that in a long time yeah what so they, they can't those? they can't mate themselves out in the on, in the park anyway they can't mate themselves <laughs> they can't mate they they can't mate with each other themselves you've probably mating yourself <laughs> oh, a lot mate. they've mates themselves all the time what are those <laughs> um what was i what was i saying that didn't matter we need that button on there we need the what are those jurassic park theme what say no more those? fam that thing will just pop into my head randomly i'll be walking around the house just saying what are those you, don't, you have no idea how much jurassic park goes on in my house I, I've got Dude, a pretty good idea. The kid dinosaur loves dinosaurs. Crazy. I was too. He plays on PlayStation. He plays a dinosaur game. Jurassic. It's Jurassic World Lego, and it's tight, and he's good at it. <sighs> That's what fucking wild. Those? So Dude, we didn't figure text, out if Rachel. they can. If we can't figure out if they can uh, get no, in there. or What? No, we need uh, we need Chris Pratt to weigh in or something. I I, I really don't know. Okay. okay. Where's everybody stand on Chris Pratt? I'm a fan. I like him. I like him, too. Yeah. I'm fine with him. Like, I don't know. Yeah, he seems like a good guy. I like that he kind of came out of nothing to uh, to become a big star. I enjoyed Jurassic World. It might be because I was I was high in a movie theater, but I did enjoy it. The second one stinks. Okay. There's Noted. a third one, right? Probably. The first one's the best. You sure? Jurassic World? Yeah. Yeah. What's the one where they try to weaponize the Velociraptors? That's the second one, I think. They that created, one was super trash. They created trash. the Indoraptor. That one was trash, I yeah. think. I think I saw that one. I just liked the first one because Jimmy Buffett was in it. Yeah. Oh. Grabbing yeah. the Mars. Anytime you get Jimmy Buffett in there, it's it's a good th it's a good time. You know what, Dactyl's man? Here. You've inspired me. And by proxy, mainly Micah, but you by proxy. I'm going to buy that margarita machine. Be, dude, I will say this, David. Be careful Googling them because you will if you click onto a margarita machine on Amazon, they will send you an email every single day after until you buy one of those margarita machines. I delete an email once a day. That's just like it, – it's like a three-thing a three thing system of margaritas. It's terrible. Well, I'm just going to have to disable cookies. Yeah, you could do that. Why, do I, why am I always accepting cookies? You're the cookie monster. I don't even know what cookies are when I accept them. I don't know what the hell a cookie is. I'm just accepting. Yeah, give me all the cookies. <laughs> like, why do these websites need cookies? Like, is it what? Dylan used to eat cookie crisp as a kid. <sighs> What's that? It's a really shit cereal. What's that? It's one of the worst cereals oh, of all time. A yeah, no. Cookie crisp. It's not one of the worst. Is it it's just bad. A, is it just a bunch of small cookies and milk? Yeah. <laughs> It's it's just not a good breakfast. No, it's just pure. Why are we shit. giving this to our kids? You may as well give your kid ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> I'll eat ice cream for breakfast. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that does sound great, doesn't crazy, it? crazy, man. I bet there is a, an ice cream breakfast delicacy. Probably. You're, it sounds European. <sighs> what are we even doing? What was the story about the electric fence? 
Yeah, just don't, Dan, just close your bar. It's that big of a fucking deal. Yeah, this is, I've, I've heard better ideas than that. Why are you shocking your customers? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Imagine you're just sipping an IPA and then, then boom, you're, t- you're taking, you know, like a thousand volts. It's I don't think, I don't think, like, they actually put it around the actual bar, not like the establishment, but the bar. Like, that, that, that doesn't make sense to me. This is like how at Wilmons, you, instead of shocking the customers, you just blow smoke in their face. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the entire all of Wilmont's is a smoking section. <laughs> the only thing that'll shock you is how good the deals are. There you go. That would be. I'm gonna open a rival bar in Cornwall. <laughs> Call it the Cornhole. <laughs> Cornolio. We got we got boards out back. Got some horseshoe pit. Throwing some shoes. Are you okay with opening a bar in a rural area? A rural area. A rural area. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not. I and I've never been to England. Say it. Rural. R- rural, rural area. Rural area. We had a lot of trouble in spooky season. That almost tanked spooky season. That was the one. That's the one thing we could improve upon for next spooky season. People weren't happy about us. Rural. People wanted us to say us rural. Tripping over r- rural. What a weird. What a dumb it's word. It's a stupid word. Let's just say remote. Just say country. It's in a remote area. Remote's better. Remote's. Remote's a little bit more intellectual. Rural. 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 We don't wear masks in these rural counties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Should we do This Weekend in Fun presented by Vizzy? Vizzy, yeah. Vizzy, Vizzy. <sighs> There's all these times in my life oh. when I just have so many choices in front of me, and I'm like, man, I don't even know what to do. Yeah. But luckily, Vizzy has created something extra that makes our choice easier. <laughs> they stand by having something that all other hard seltzers don't, an antioxidant vitamin C. Can I bring everyone's attention to our subreddit real quick? Why? There is a thread on there about Vizzy. And in that thread, people are talking about how it doesn't give them a hangover. One person said it, and then everyone is piling on. Their like, words, oh my not God, ours. yes. This is, this is a true testimonial. Go to our subreddit. Not us. Uh, something to do with the vitamin C. I, I don't know. The super fruit in there. I mean. It's called acerola, Dylan. Yeah, I know. It's a super fruit with 30 times more vitamin C per cup than an orange. And Vizzy is the only hard seltzer crafted with that and antioxidant and vitamin C. Think about that. Think about that. That's a great combo. It's acerola drinking season. There are plenty of hard seltzers to choose from, but with four bold and refreshing natural flavors and antioxidant vitamin C, Vizzy makes that choice a little easier, and it's a lot tastier. Pineapple, mango, black cherry, lime, strawberry, kiwi, blueberry, palmy. You know that they're all fire. These are torch. Their torch. I went to the uh, store yesterday, not this store. I went to the gas station yesterday, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to pop in and see if they have any Vizzy, because for the last two weeks, it's been an empty slot in their thing. No Vizzy? Guess what? Yesterday, they had some. And I did something nice, because I already have 12 just sitting in my fridge at home. I left it there for somebody else to go by. That was dumb. So that was truly that heroic was of you. No, you should have copped. Pe- some people are calling me a hero. Some people are. They're legit, like, very, very good. Legit. Well, yeah, I've got 12 in my fridge right now. You don't have to tell me. Go crack one. Then after bitch. tonight, there I'm might be the there might only be eleven in my fridge after tonight. You're gonna have one. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it is happy hour tonight. True. Damn, forgot it was Wednesday. It <laughs> never hurts to add some vitamins or antioxidants into the mix, and with Vizzy, you can enjoy refreshment now with vitamin C at five percent ABV, one hundred calories, and less than one. Yes, I said one gram of real cane sugar per can. Every sip of Vizzy is more exhilarating. Upgrade your hard seltzer with Vizzy to find out where you can purchase. Go to VizzyHardSelter.com. That's VizzyHardSelter.com. Must be 21 or older. Dylan, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, great question, Will. Uh, I'm going to continue to play it safe with the old pandemic looming overhead. Um, I'm doing nothing. Cool, man. Absolutely nothing. I'll probably have a couple of Vizzies, honestly, and just chill. You're just going to tie-dye some shit and smoke some weed and just chill out? <laughs> <laughs> um, I will not have, par- I'll have Parks Friday. So we'll, we'll do something fun. Watch it. Get a get a movie off. Do some popcorn and apple juice. Something something like that. You know. Um, Is that a new Vizzy flavor that I'm not familiar with? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's non-alcoholic for kids. Pop, popcorn and apple juice. <laughs> Sounds. Um. Yeah. Nothing, man. I'm just I'm just gonna lay low at the crib. Pretty much it. Might might go to the pool. Our pool's open, like I mentioned. Get Sounds a, like you're gonna get all sweaty and jump in the pool. Get a pool session off. I'm gonna shower first, though. 
before. You're, you're definitely not. You're not going no to. No one ever you does. Unless Dave didn't say that. You weren't going to shower before jumping in that pool, dude. I'm going to no at least one consider does. it. I'm going to at least consider it. I'm going to look at the you're shower. You're going to see who's like, there you watching. Know what, maybe I'm going to turn you on. But I don't know. What? You're going to do what? Turn the shower. Turn the shower on. Yeah, there are going to be mommies at the pool? There, there, there are some mothers there usually with their kid with their kiddos. Yeah. Oh, yeah? By the way, alcohol mommies? is allowed in my at my neighborhood pool. Isn't that Love wild? That. Love that. Like, cool. Sounds people like people are just like, like a bring, fucking lituation. Yeah, you just bring for? coolers and post up. It's pretty cool, man. Are you allowed to have guests? You need to roll in with with Parks' <laughs> Yeti coffin. <laughs> <laughs> just dragging that thing you in. Imagine? There. Just have Parks emerge does, from it. Like someone his, his five year old son in this a Yeti coffin. When you guys were quarantined, did you have did you just fill up that cooler for Parks just to swim <laughs> around in? Do laps? <laughs> Like, why was your son on uh, ice? The thing, like those co- those Yeti coffins, like I see how it can make sense for some people to own one of those, like we, like hardcore fishermen. But my God, what an excessive item! Let me see what the biggest Yeti cooler is. It's the coffin. Prob- I feel like we need one for Dude, this. It's twelve hundred dollars. You can lay down. Why did we buy it? Randy a desk when we could have just gotten him a Yeti coffin? <laughs> it's a storage thing and a desk. Oh, you talking about the Tundra 350 Marine Cooler? Yeah. So this is for dudes who like go big game fishing, right? Yeah, yeah. This is to throw yeah. like or, your mackerel or hunting. In there. They put put meat in there or whatever. Dude, I love a good thirteen hundred dollar cooler. I mean, it's it's excessive. How how long is it? I think if if you're like five six, you can legit lay down inside it, something like that. I wouldn't know. I'm not. What five, are you trying six. to say? I'm saying we could put like Alyssa in there. She's not I don't know why five. she's catching strays. She's, I'm it's, just trying to think of someone who's right around five six. It's sixty three and a half inches, Dylan. So you do you have to be six foot three and a half? No, five feet is sixty inches. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I said, dude. <laughs> so five three, dude. That's what I said. Five three. What It'll else? fit two hundred fifty nine <laughs> twelve ounce cans. That's a lot. That's a lot. I wonder if that includes with ice? ice. Yeah, like with ice. <laughs> this is what this is their specs. I'm I'm literally looking at the specs. Dude, let's just get one for the office, just to flex. Dude, we can't. The item is currently not available. Uh, how about this? I just, Dylan, don't worry though. I'm signing you up right now for it. <laughs> Please don't. I'm signing you up to get notified for when it uh is available. Do you guys know the Yeti story? What? No. What is it? Ever fallen through the lid of a cooler while standing on it? To nope. cast just a little further or while loading kayaks in your truck? Can't say that I have. Has a cooler ever dropped on your toe because the handle snapped under the load of an albacore tuna? Also, has never happened to me. Does your cooler look a bit like Frankenstein with a mix of uh, chandlery and home center hardware and a little duct tape? Did I say that word again, right? Again, no. If you answered yes to any of these questions, you have something in common with the founders of Yeti, Dylan. I wow. mean, it, in what, like... How are those things <laughs> vouching for a cooler at all? Like, wh- I just wanted to keep my shit cold. Dude, I don't, it's bear proof. I don't, need to, proof. I, I don't need to stand on it while reeling in an albacore tuna. I'm just trying to drink a cold, a cold Miller High Life or Vizzy. How many times has a bear gotten in your cooler, though? Think about it, because these are bear proof. Is that is that been proven? I feel like there's some bears out there that can get into. They, any they, they take a tundra thirty five and, and put like raw meat and throw it out in the. Throw it out in front of a bear and see what happens. You give a bear enough time, he'll come back with some C4 and he'll detonate that shit. <laughs> I don't this think is like the commercial happen. for like the, the, I don't even know what it is, glue or tape or something. And the dude's, he's on the water in like a clear boat. Yeah, yeah. Like, what is that? <laughs> oh, it's a, it's the screen that he, he paints over with that, that black, like gooey tar substance. Like, why don't you just like use a regular John boat? Yeah, you don't need to do this. Yeah, why do you, why are you, why is your boat completely clear? <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird. Dylan was known for the glass bottom boat in college. Yeah. Oh man. I, I thought you called it the ass bottom boat. Stop. Stop. Do you remember you could go to on a, a glass bottom by the Ocarina of Springs? Of course, I've, I've done it. You've done it. I never yeah. did it. It's it's tight. I mean, it's not. But the bo- the glass <laughs> is the bottom. The bottom is made of glass. Well, so you can see. Wait, and hold on. So glass bottom boats have bottoms made of glass. Yeah, right. Think about that. That doesn't make sense, but. Whatever. Glass bottom girls, you make the rockin' wheel go round. We got to get on the boat and ride. What are we eating? I don't know. Glass you want to know more about boat. Yeti? Yeti's all about living the salt life. This That's not, not in there. Spawn, That's not in way. there. They do live. This is for guys who live salt life. Clay Flounder is going to text us like tomorrow. If you like, uh, no, those are actually really practical. If you're out there ripping lips, I want to hear from uh, a Yeti coffin owner, and and I want to know how they use it. So reach out to us. We're all yeah. We're all our Yeti coffin with picks. I want a pick, with your Salt Life sticker on it and Grateful Dead, whatever they we put on those. 
Yeah. Ducks Unlimited. No Ducks Unlimited. Those just go on the back of your F two fifty. Mm-hmm. Or just like yeah, your shitty truck. Like the amount of dudes <laughs> that just have it on. It's a, it's a free sticker. Yeah. You just sign up for an email list, and all of a sudden you're, you're a club <laughs> member of Ducks Unlimited. Um. I just texted Clay to see what the biggest Yeti he owns is. Okay. Oh, please have it. Please have a coffee. If he has a you coffee. realize it would not even surprise me because he is the dude who, like. If he sends w- back a photo of him laying in it, like a selfie, I'm going to lose my mind. I got to tell you something, Will. I don't know if. I don't know what <laughs> oh, don't do Clay like that. Oh, uh, he knows I'm playing. Oh, I play man, too that's much. funny. You do play too much. Dave, what are you doing this weekend? I'm probably going to Dylan's pool if he would ever invite me. Come through, dog. I will. I'm serious. We don't. We would. Yeah, come through. My wife. My wife would love to go to a pool. I will. I will. Uh, the invitation is already on the table. Every day we go out in the backyard, play with Randy. I'm grilling, doing whatever, making sausage wraps. Will, and the neighbors behind us, they've got like a a dope pool situation. Kids are doing cannonballs, listening to listening to you know classic rock, and I'm just like, man, I want a pool, man. Yeah. The only negative is uh, because of the COVID situation, they have removed all tables and lounge chairs. They don't want people congregating. So wait, what do you have to be in the water, basically? So you're just sitting on pavement? There's like a, a bench that's like <laughs> built into the, the scene there that I okay. will just drop our stuff by, and it's shaded. It's tight. But. Can you still mouth kiss your homies? Oh, yeah. Okay. I would invite you to our it. pool, but we're not allowed to have guests currently. Yeah. They're not even open on the weekend. Are you sure yours has guests? Um, I don't. There's probably a rule, but people... People link in there all the time. I'm not really. And plus, yeah, what are they going like to tell you? Don't link. There's like a high school kid working the, the gate. Like he wasn't going to say. I'll whip me. his ass. Yeah, I'll you, put him in a headlock. I'll, I'll Nolan Ryan his ass. He's like, well, you're the TFM guy. Yeah. Dude, torn man. Oh, hey, fuck right. you. Dude, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, I love what you guys are doing, man. <laughs> Over at Washed. <laughs> How do y'all make money on those? Like, dude, you're 16. Just make sure no one drowns in here. Calm down. Dude, uh, can you get me a Wilmot shirt? Can you get me a crop top, dude? My girlfriend really wanted one, but they, she, we had to cancel her order. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have any plans. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I pulled up the AccuWeather earlier, and I was just like, man, maybe maybe we'll get like one of those, you know, not a cold front, but just a little front that comes through and it drops at like four or five degrees. Just gets it to where it's not 102. So you can actually like maybe go outside for more than two seconds. Friday, 98. Saturday, 97. Sunday, 98, Monday, 99, Tuesday, 99. So I just don't think golf is in the cards. No, I would love not. to play golf. And it's so humid, too. That's the problem. Probably watch a lot of golf. What tourney is this weekend? It is the Memorial. Memorial. Ooh. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, I think we got Cat, Brooks, and Rory in a uh, group tomorrow. That's Correct. a strong group. That is. Why were people online complaining about these these groups? People be complaining. That's why I think the, maybe some people wanted Bryson to be with Brooks because you know they're beefing. But like I don't don't force it. Maybe don't force it if you don't have to. Yeah, let them let, let them both shoot to the top of the scoreboard and uh, put them in a group on the weekend. Don't don't blow your load too early. Dylan, I don't know, man. I got no plans. I'm I'm gonna probably grill something. Oh, I saw uh, Meat Church posted a really good barbacoa recipe today. Is that the same? As, is that similar to Cowboy Church? It's just like that. Only. In, <laughs> It's where your meat goes to worship. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I better. I might do some barbacoa this weekend. Wow. Maybe I'll bring some to you, Dylan. Damn. Teach you a little something. Oh, teach me, dog. I'm ready. I've never gotten the gift of anything, so just let me know. Hey, Will. We give you the gift of friendship every day, though. No, you don't. What? What are you talking about? I need you to give me the gift of living closer. You don't live that far. I don't live that far. No, but the parking situation at your place. If there's not one of the spots in that little garage. It is trash. It is just such a pain well, in the ass. Yeah, but even if there is, like, I mean, there's a there's some asshole who just parks his, like, jacked up. Did I send you a photo of that truck? Yeah, you told me or sent it to Dude, me. Dude, one of the biggest trucks I've ever seen, and he lives at our place, but he parks in visitor parking, and lately he's been parking in a handicap spot. I'm not that far from just Dude, getting him towed just to make a point. That's so scummy. Dude, but you can't even tow his truck out of there because the second it gets like a couple more inches like lifted on it, there's no way it's getting out. Dude, let's go steal his wheels. <laughs> that guy stinks. He comes yeah, out. I don't know him, but he stinks. Dude, it's it's the biggest asshole thing in the world. The fact that like no one else at our apartment has like said anything about this, I'm I'm just shocked. We need to like he needs to come outside and Walk up to his to his truck and it's just sitting on like thirty cinder blocks. Let's do it. <laughs> Wait, is it a is it a raptor or a... no? It's not a raptor. 
I have the photo somewhere. This it's is a bad. T man. I thought about dragging him on Twitter, but I didn't really have like a fire caption for it, so I laid off. Anyway, what is his affiliation with the apartment complex? He lives there. And he thinks he can just park in handicap? It's weird. Are you sure he's not handicapped? There's no handicap thing in his truck. Wait, he's driving a jacked up truck. Maybe his handicap is that he just has a giant penis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's you just can't like have a so handicap. huge. You can't be. Ha- no, I should. No, here we go. I, I tried to find it, see if I could find it on there without being the guy that just goes up to his truck and looks, but I didn't see any handicap sticker there. <laughs> I want to see Will, like, like you know, just kind of casually look it up, trying to see, like, not get caught. Is it, Have you seen the guy? No. I get really, I get like unjustifiably mad about how people park. No, I do too. Dude, maybe his truck is so big he can't fit through like the other part of the garage. Man. Hey, that's probably what hey, it is. Butthead, get a different truck. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not defending. You. I know I'm that's probably I'm why. Just he has saying, to park like, if you there. have a big ass truck like this, maybe don't live in an apartment. Maybe yeah. you have like a house in the country where you actually have to yeah. use your damn truck. You need to imagine, be somewhere more rural. Imagine choo- choosing to customize your truck in a way that you can't use <laughs> garages. Yeah, <laughs> like the dude. The dude's rolling coal on the way to his fucking project man- yeah, like, management job downtown at some tech startup. It's going to yeah. fail in two years. Like th- those. Like those tires probably stay on pavement 100 percent of the time. Like, he's not off roading anywhere. I've never seen a spot of he's dirt not, on this thing. He's not towing anything. There's no better feeling than when you're going like downtown to like a ball game like a Mavs game and you have to park in the parking garage you're like oh dude is it gonna make it <laughs> oh dude oh dude your antenna's popping like, such an unnecessary thing to do to your, your truck the dude thinks he's driving grave digger out here it's like yeah. dude that's, you're, you're not in a monster truck rally just figure it out there are guys out there who are like the sun, sometimes you need the clearance that's why you get a lift like no no the worst is the dudes with jeeps that have the snorkel coming out of the top it's like what oh you're going underwater <laughs> that much dude <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, you're not, you're not uh, doing anything. Yeah, what are you doing, dog? Like, you don't need a snorkel on your Jeep. Snorkel? Like, what? Are you driving through like seven feet of water? What are you doing? Like, and like, if you're gonna, if you're doing that much, like, don't get a Jeep. Like, dude, I want to bop with my boys in the Jeep, spraying gasoline on each other. Like, don't. You're not actually doing manly shit in that thing. I I know a buddy from from Duncanville, which is not rural. <laughs> and he went to tech for like one semester, came back from Lubbock, and he had like a brush guard on his truck. I'm like, oh, uh, dude, yeah, man, you never know. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I had a, I mean, I had a <laughs> truck in high school, and people were like, why don't you get a brush guard? It's like, I, I don't drive through brush. I mean, yeah, what, what least, brush are you guarding it from? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't need, I don't need it. Going out to the field, kick some kegs around, dude, man. You need a ranch and bumper on this thing. Like, I don't, though. I just go to class. My buddy had a, uh, a winch on his on his Jeep on the front. And I think we used it once to pull out somebody who got stuck mudding. And I was like, man, that was probably like a nine hundred dollar deal. Don't know why you don't want know why you th- oh, thought you needed it. I think they're more than that. Are they? They oh, probably yeah. are. For a decent one anyway. I'm thinking about getting a snowplow put on the front of mine. Just to put out the vibe. Like, yeah, I'm from Michigan. <laughs> that would be sick. Oh, uh, actually a snorkel. Dylan, they might be cheaper than that. Please show me that when someone has used a, one of those snorkels, like actually needed it. I just want one example of it. You should get one on your new Bronco. I kind of want one. What Bronco. Quite literally, everybody on my timeline wants one. I have a question about your car, so Dylan. Fire looking. Does your car have the, the functionality where the back gets rolled down? Oh, yeah. Dude, I love that. That's how I load groceries, dog. Really? Oh, yeah. It's tight. I'm so jealous. I saw a, I saw a nice-looking bird dog hanging out the back of one of those the other day, and I was very jealous of the owner and everything, everyone else involved. Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool sitch. It was a nice little situation riding behind that for about two miles, just checking out that dog, just enjoying his life. Yeah. yeah. Let me say this. I, I said the other day that if I ever get fuck you money, I will be buying an la- old vintage Land Rover Discovery Okay. that I know is, is trash but looks tight. If anybody here is selling one or knows somebody who's selling one and can get me one at a significantly discounted rate, let me know. And by that, I mean, like, take whatever they're going for on the on the Internet now and cut that in half. <laughs> let me know. Dave's, Dave's just looking for a free one. If you want to get rid of it, I will, I will pay for shipping. I'm looking for a used golf cart, by the way. I might know a guy. Just buy one, dude. You know, Clay, dude, they're not cheap. They cost as much as, like, cars do. I'm not kidding. You're going way too hard on this thing. Dude, like, you can get one that's like a, a 2003. That's, what's that's clo- like three grand. Like, what's what? the closest? What's the closest golf course to your place? I'll get you one for a, the same price as a tee time. Are you just gonna steal it? Yes. <laughs> just gonna drive off. Just with tear it? ass out of there. <laughs> just looking back, like I know. I kind of think that happens. I'll bring my knife. Yeah, they, they're not cheap, man. I'm telling you. But I want to take like take parks to the pool, for example. 
Just cruise the hood, man. People, what, people he can't doing, run. It's a, it's a mile. He's five. He can walk a mile in my shoes. Do you guys even care what I'm doing this weekend? No. I thought you already did it. Never do. Mm-mm. What are you even doing? Dude, I don't even know. You're not doing anything because you're going to Michigan in a week. No. Yeah. Well, so uh, we've been we've just been using Sally's parents' pool, which I mean, Dave, we could we could we could chat. Ooh, I've got options. We could chat. I mean, uh, I, I, Dylan. We've been doing that. <laughs> it's uh, it's been a nice little reprieve from uh, everything. So we might go out there Saturday, but Sunday, you know, Sunday's for the footy. So many games on on Sunday that are meaningful. But Can't Saturday wait. Are they MLS games? For the boys. No, no MLS games. We're not watching MLS right now. Uh, I'm out on Vancouver. After you know my team, the FC Dallas, is like just not in the tournament because of COVID. Oh, that respect. Yeah, I, well, I bought my Vancouver shirt, so I was, I was going to go all in on Vancouver Whitecaps. Are they not in it either? No, it came in and it doesn't fit, so now I'm just not a Vancouver Whitecaps fan anymore. Hey, let me so. guess, you, you don't want to send it back, so you're just going to keep it because it's a pain in the ass? A hundred percent. Yeah, my, in my eyes, I'm like, dude, I'll just lose like five pounds and I can wear it in like a year. No, but we got like just massive schedule. Dylan, if you want to like watch with me at 10 a.m., we got Tottenham versus Leicester City. Dude, I'm there. We could really use a Tottenham win here. Oh, They're trying dude. to ride the momentum off of their Arsenal win the other day, but we'll see. You're telling me. And then uh, we got some FA Cup action at noon. Chelsea versus Man U. Pulisic. Your boy, Dave. I'll watch Pulisic. Mm-hmm. Should be a good game. These two are fighting out for a Champions League spot. This game doesn't ma- matter for that, but it should be a, a game between two teams who want to beat each other right now. Should be very exciting. Other than that, I'm not doing anything. There is talk about doing some fillets this weekend. I'm not sure if that's going to happen pre-weekend or mid-weekend, but I would like to get some fillets off. Let me say this. Um, you should do fillets. Fillet me. I'm a Daddy. big fan of the Sunday steak. Yeah. we See, we never do steak on Sundays. Oh, we, you're not, Dylan? We're more of a <laughs> pasta family on Sundays. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Rigatoni. Mm-hmm. Rigatoni. Brett had a real trash pasta take recently. What was it? Well, I need to find it. I don't remember this at all. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I feel bad dragging him while he's not here, but he's going to have this bad no, he's of a here. take on the Hold timeline. On. He, he's here. Uh, what's up, man? <laughs> he crushed that. Uh, Let's yeah, see. yeah, no, I think so. Uh, the fact that I'm going to his profile right now and control effing for Postaverse just so, tells you everything you need to wait, know about Brett. He, he used the word Postaverse? Mm-hmm. I feel like I did see this tweet. and I... It says, Rotini doesn't get nearly enough credit in the Postaverse. And then I didn't even know what Rotini was until yeah, I looked it, look it up. Like? Uh, it's the pasta that is just like really hardcore spirals. It's like what you would put in a pasta salad. Mm-hmm. Oh, Okay, nah, nah, that ain't it. And I then, mean, it so, has its place, but it's definitely not a top tier pasta. It, it it belongs. It's a cold. It's a cold pasta. It gets the exact amount of respect it deserves in the pasta verse, which is that we which don't is, know what it is, which is very little. But if it's in a pasta salad, I'll eat it. But I'm not like gonna go to the store and be like, oh man, I'm craving some rotini. Here's the thing, though. Here's a big question I have. Pasta is all just the same shit, right? Yeah, it's just different, like different shapes, uh, different textures. Doing. I mean, not really. Uh, really, it, depending on how you cook it, though. I mean. Pasta, <laughs> pasta's all the same shit. It's like Tex Mex. Am I wrong? Te- it's just all Tex Mex is just all the same. Like you just like a certain shape better than the other one. That's the only difference. No. Like angel hair and and penne penne, pe- penny. Penne. No, but angel hair is much no, different than a bucatini. It's no, I'm saying it's the same substance. Like it's it it they have different functions. I get it, but it's the same. Like if you get down to it, look under a microscope. It's the same shit. I mean, I I'm guess just saying, it might man. be. Who knows? So, dude, everybody's made of the same shit. This is, Adam, what, this is what my brain does. Nucleus. I think about shit. Someone Nuclei. did note under uh, his his a reply under his tweet said that we need to give him back the wooden take pistol for that. Should we? Uh, should funny. I hit him with like a quote tweet right now? And he'll be like, "Oh God, what what, what are they doing?" <laughs> he'll know. He'll know he's being talked about. Oh. It's not. It's actually not a terrible take. It's not a. It's just, it's a fine take. It's an interesting one to put out there, but I respect it. I just want to know what pasta or what pasta salad Caroline made in order for him to like have the tipping point of sending that tweet. That's a fair because that that must have been some fire pasta salad. Uh, thanks for asking, Will. Yeah, I just want to give a quick high school sports minute. Uh, big shout out to Duncanville's own four star Kendrick Blackshire, who decided to is a Blackshire or Blackshire. Nobody knows. Decided to commit to the Alabama. As a 35-year-old man. Who, yeah. Uh, he looks very mature. The number one inside linebacker in Texas. Uh, just an absolute unit. Towards ACL, didn't play all of last year, and they still had the number one defense. So, it going to be scary this year. Uh, going to Bama. Shout out. Just, I mean, you know, man. Just another, you know, Duncanville kid. 
doing big things. Just Harvest, like me. Harbor Springs High School just hired a new <laughs> full-time coach. What's his name? Uh, Was it Doug's? Last name Vandermoose. Okay. That's a, that's a good name. Trust me. You don't you don't you don't fuck with the Vandermoose family. <laughs> oh. They're badasses. I loved it. <clears throat> what if you got Klein a job like his like first coaching gig in, in Harbor? I wanted to do like I feel like it wouldn't I I mean I feel like that I could I feel like I could be like an assistant coach on the staff knowing nothing about football just because they might just need some some bodies there. And I, I would definitely just get like a high crown visor that had like Harbor Springs <laughs> written in cursive Dude, on it. Just get it deep into the stats. The, mm-hmm. just be pure analytics. Don't even know the game. Just be like, Well, look here, the numbers say do this, so let's do this. I think Northern Michigan football is pretty much just like give it to the fastest kid and hope that he can break through. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Should we get out of here? This is one of the most derailed episodes I've ever experienced on Honestly, this podcast. Is. I think it's one of our best. Yeah. That's a, there's people saying that. Yeah. Even though they haven't heard it yet. There's a reason you don't have fettuccine Alfredo with like angel hair spaghetti. No, I know. I get that. They have different functions, like I said. But, it's still, one but it's still the same stuff, just in different shapes. It's almost like you didn't even go to Italy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. What's your problem, dude? Prego. Say bye. And let's bye. Just get this over with.